Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be doing pros and cons of owning guinea pigs. Remember that we all have our own experiences with owning guinea pigs, so this is from my experiences and my opinions of owning guinea pigs on whether if it is a pro or a con of owning them. Now, let's get started with the video. I am first going to start off with the pros. Number one is guinea pigs are very social. They love the company of other guinea pigs and they love to interact with us humans. You can also teach them tricks as they are pretty intelligent creatures. Number two, their diet is pretty simple. Guinea pigs are strictly herbivores, so they only eat vegetables and fruits, hay, pellets, and sometimes treats. A note to add on to this is that guinea pigs can produce their own vitamin C like we can't, so they need some sort of supplement. You can either give them vitamin C tablets from Oxbow, which I do personally, or you can give them liquid vitamin C by Child Life, which this is completely safe and I give one whole cc to my senior guinea pig, Angel. Number three, creating a habitat for your guinea pigs is super easy. Just making sure their enclosure is big enough of how many guinea pigs you have in there along with the males and females and all that. And also make sure you have all the essentials that guinea pigs need such as one hide per biggie. I like to put an extra in there. Some sort of bedding, water bottles or bowls, hay, hay bags, hay piles. Um, lots and lots of toys because guinea pigs love to play and they love to chew. Number four, guinea pigs will adapt to their surroundings. So when you start a routine with your guinea pigs, they will start off really slow, not really knowing like the routine because you have to build that trust and it takes a lot of time for the guinea pigs to recognize, oh, it's morning, it's time for pellets or oh, it's nighttime, it's time for to go to bed or it's time to get some veggies. So having a routine with your guinea pigs is definitely helpful and it honestly makes life so much easier. Now on to the cons. Guinea pigs require a lot of space because they love to run around. If you have a smaller pet shop cage, the guinea pigs really have nowhere to go, so they honestly would just sleep and eat the whole day, which, is, which isn't really good for them. They need to stimulate themselves and they need to get up and get active. So having a large cage would really benefit for them. And it will also probably make their lifespan a little bit longer as they are getting their heart pumping. This might be an issue for some people as they don't have the space. So guinea pigs, in fact, for that reason, might not be the right pet for you. Number two, guinea pigs are sensitive creatures. Guinea pigs have very sensitive hearing. They can hear up to 50,000 to 100,000 hertz. So when you have really loud noises, it can really hurt their ears and it can actually damage their ears. So make sure guinea pigs are in a quiet-ish environment. You can have some little music going, but don't have it too loud because it can bother them. Number three, guinea pigs can in fact smell horrible if you don't keep up with their cage. If you do not keep up with the cleaning, your guinea pigs will end up smelling. And when your guinea pigs smell bad, it will probably smell at the whole house or wherever your guinea pigs are. And I don't like the smell of smelly guinea pigs, so I frequently clean out my guinea pigs. And also, if you don't clean out your guinea pigs often, they can, in fact, get respiratory infections because their urine contains ammonia. Number four, guinea pigs can be expensive. The frequent costs of hay and pellets and vegetables is not all. Guinea pigs will actually need to see a vet if you think they are sick. And the first sign of illness is weight loss. So if you suspect weight loss, I would make sure to check them over. And if you do see things that are abnormal about them, I would definitely call your vet and schedule an appointment to bring your guinea pigs in. And you should 
be ready to pay at least $100 just to walk into the vet and you may not know what you are getting into when you go to the vet because you can end up spending thousands of dollars. So there are probably many more pros and cons of owning guinea pigs, but these are just a few that I think that are important. So this is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in our next one.